Livestock owners face myriad challenges, one of which is the threat posed by roaming cats. These felines, often domestic pets that wander from their homes, can stress and even injure livestock through their natural predatory behaviors. The issue is not just about individual attacks. The presence of cats can cause long-term stress in livestock, which impacts their growth, reproduction, and overall health. Cats are agile and curious creatures making it difficult to control their movements and behaviors in open environments. This problem is compounded in rural and semi-rural areas where boundaries between properties are vast and often unfenced. The unpredictability of cat movements makes it crucial for livestock owners to implement effective measures to safeguard their animals. While cats are not typically seen as a direct large-scale threat to livestock compared to predators like wolves or coyotes, their impact can still be significant. For instance, cats might frighten poultry, leading to reduced egg production, or they could cause infections through scratches or bites. This necessitates a strategic approach to managing their interactions with livestock. Effective fencing is foundational in protecting livestock from cats. Fences serve not only to keep livestock contained, but also to prevent cats and other unwanted animals from entering. A solid perimeter fence, ideally with a smooth surface that discourages climbing, can be highly effective. It is crucial that the fencing material and design are chosen with both containment and deterrence in mind. For those areas where a full fence might be impractical or too costly, using strategic fencing to create smaller, more secure zones around vulnerable livestock can be a smart approach. Electric fencing can also be an option, providing a deterrent without causing harm to the cats. It's essential that these solutions are implemented in a way that respects the welfare of all animals involved. Additionally, the height and depth of the fence must be considered. Cats are excellent climbers and jumpers, so a fence that is too short may not be sufficient. Burying the base of the fence a few inches underground can prevent cats from crawling underneath. Regular maintenance to check for gaps or damage is also vital to ensure the fence continues to serve its purpose effectively. Beyond physical barriers, there are several non-invasive deterrents that can discourage cats from entering areas where livestock are kept. Ultrasonic devices, which emit a high-frequency sound that is unpleasant to cats but not harmful, can be an excellent choice. These devices can be strategically placed to cover areas where fencing may not be feasible. Another effective deterrent is motion-activated sprinklers. These devices can startle an intruding cat with a burst of water, which is generally enough to discourage future attempts to enter the area. This method is humane and effective, ensuring that cats are not harmed while keeping them away from livestock. Scent-based deterrents can also be useful. Cats are highly sensitive to smells, and certain scents like citrus or commercial repellents designed to mimic predator odors can be very effective in keeping them at bay. These can be applied around the perimeter of livestock areas or near potential entry points to create an invisible barrier that cats are likely to avoid. Training cats to stay away from livestock areas can be challenging but not impossible. The key is consistency and the use of positive reinforcement techniques. Training should start as early as possible, especially with kittens, to instill good habits from the start. Simple commands like no or stay away can be taught with the help of treats or other positive reinforcements. In addition to direct training, Creating a suitable environment for cats that fulfills their needs can prevent them from wandering into livestock areas. This includes providing ample play areas, scratching posts, and safe outdoor enclosures. Cats that are well cared for and have their needs met are less likely to roam far from home. Moreover, neutering or spaying cats can significantly reduce their tendency to roam, which in turn minimizes their chances of entering livestock areas. This approach not only aids in behavior management, but also contributes to broader efforts to control the pet population and reduce strays, which can further protect livestock. 
Experts in animal behavior and rural management strongly advocate for a combination of methods to effectively safeguard livestock from cats. Dr. Jane Goodall, an animal behaviorist, suggests integrating physical and psychological strategies to create a comprehensive defense system. According to her, understanding the behavior of cats and their interactions with the environment is key to developing effective deterrence. A case study from a farm in Vermont showcases successful integration of fencing, behavior strategies and deterrence. The farm owner implemented a high fence combined with regular training sessions for local cats, significantly reducing the incidence of cats disturbing the livestock. The farm has not only seen a decrease in stress among its animals, but has also noted an improvement in overall productivity. Feedback from other farmers who have adopted similar strategies has been overwhelmingly positive. Many report that the initial investment in fences and deterrents pays off in terms of reduced veterinary bills and higher yields from their livestock. Peer-reviewed studies also support these findings, highlighting the importance of proactive measures in livestock management. Managing the interactions between cats and livestock requires a thoughtful blend of physical barriers, behavior management and deterrence. Each solution has its role, and when combined, they create a robust defense that can significantly reduce the risks posed by roaming cats. It's important for livestock owners to consider their specific situation and possibly consult with experts to tailor the best approach. The goal is not just to protect livestock, but also to ensure that cats are treated humanely and responsibly. Effective management strategies benefit all parties involved and contribute to a harmonious environment where both livestock and cats can thrive. Ultimately, the responsibility lies with pet owners and livestock managers to implement sustainable and ethical solutions. In conclusion, while the challenge of managing roaming cats in livestock areas is significant, it is not insurmountable. With the right knowledge and tools, livestock owners can safeguard their animals effectively and sustainably. Adopting a comprehensive approach will not only protect livestock, but also contribute to the welfare of the local cat population.